for John Bodenhammer. John, um, we were wondering after the U.S. Girls Junior, what kind of buzz was there among the USGA staff about uh, the way the tournament was run, and and how does that segue into, you know, what can we take to Central World next? How did how did the conversation shift uh, to then, you know, putting a U.S. Senior Open at Central World? Well, the the uh, the experience that uh, we had in 2019 with the Girls Junior was second to none. I mean, the the hospitality, the warmth, the energy that uh, the entire uh, Century team brought to the championship was, as I say, second to none. And uh, it just made it clear to us um, that a long-term partnership in some way with future events was, was really something we desired. And uh, I know uh, both uh, members of my team and myself, we've, we've had numerous conversations with Mike James and Pete McPartland and others on the Century team, and we just see it as a as a great connection and a great partnership. You know, it's a Stevens Point is such a wonderful place to come. It's such an intimate community. There's there's uh, there's really a love for the game, and and I think the players in the 2023 U.S. Senior Open will see that, feel that. And I think that's what's important to us, and why it translated so well. It's, it's certainly a great golf course in immaculate condition. Immaculate's the key word. It is amazing. Uh, the way the golf course is maintained and the players will love that. They will love playing on the surfaces that are at Century. But I think it's the warmth. I think it's the energy. I think the way that Century embraced the girls junior and the way the opportunity to embrace these players, you know, for us, it's all about the players and the venues at which we play. If the players say the U.S. Senior Open is the most important championship for them to play in and win. It will be. And we believe they'll say that about Century World. John, maybe a quick follow-up to that. Uh, what is your experience with uh, the U.S. Senior Open in markets, you know, states where you already have a, a successful um, PGA Tour Champions event, such as the American Family Insurance Championship? Yeah, it's it's good. I, and we, you know, there are a lot of learnings there. We uh, we look at uh, all the everything that we can get our hands onto, from how we uh, prepare the golf course to what the market produces, both regionally and statewide. You know, the Senior Open, the U.S. Senior Open is, a, is an event that draws from not just uh, lo locally, but will draw from around uh, the country in many different ways, both fans, partners, um, certainly with the broadcast, uh, with viewers. Uh, and so, you know, I think we do learn from that. Uh, and uh, I think another advantage that we see is that uh, you know, coming to a community like Stevens Point, the U.S. Senior Open will be will, will be the um, it will be the focal point. We think there'll be great interest that um, maybe even even going to a larger market, you might we might not enjoy. I think there'll be maybe the potential for more fans in Stevens Point than you might see in in some markets, and we're excited about that. Some of the energy that those fans will bring to the to the players. That's one thing the U.S. Uh, Senior Open does that. A, a typical PGA Tour Champions event doesn't always have is a lot of fans and the players really embrace that. They love that. And we think that'll be the case at Century World. With, you know, all the, the work that's going into getting ready for this championship, the stuff that you've done, you know, to, to you know, basically recreate the golf course. Um, can you maybe speak to the long term, um, you know, vision of championship golf at Century World? Yes, uh, happy to. You know, we uh, when we reopen in Century World in 2014. Uh, shortly thereafter is when I was hired. Uh, Pete McPartland and I had a conversation about hosting meaningful national championships at Century World. And so we set off to do just that and, and looked at a variety of, of areas, the NCAA or the um, web.com at the time, uh, the Big Ten, and certainly the USGA. And uh, you know, we had a starting point and uh, we were very fortunate to be able to attract the 2019 Girls Junior Championship. And as I mentioned, we went all in on that. I mean, we really focused in on that championship. We wanted to make that the best experience for the competitors and, and everybody who was involved. And we were focused on that championship until it was over. And then, as John mentioned, we after that championship, we started to talk about what could we do next? And now next is the fortunate enough to have the uh, U.S. Senior Open. We will be completely focused on that championship up until and throughout that championship. Where we take it, where we go from there, 
Uh, we're not sure. We love the relationship that we have with the USGA and we look forward to uh, anything in our future. And uh, we're, we're, we're really at this time just focused in on this senior open. And, uh, you know, 10 years from now, who knows? But uh, we're, we're really happy to be where we are today.